Well, good afternoon, everyone. I want to apologize if you were just missing the sound on that previous presentation. That was a technical difficulty on my side. My name is Meredith Call, and I am the director for the Office of Parent and Family Services. So I'm very excited that you're able to join us tonight for our webinar with the UAB Bookstore. I, there are several things that we want to make sure that you are able to learn about and prepare for as you are getting ready for your student to start at UAB this fall. And one of those things is clearly about how do you make sure that your student has all the necessary supplies and materials that they will need for their class, uh, their classes this upcoming fall semester. So the bookstore has been so gracious to share with us um, some time this evening to kind of walk you through that process and what does that look like for your student. A few things to note that for all of our family members regarding watching today's tonight's presentation, we want to make sure that this is a very interactive and engaging presentation. So the easiest way for us to do that is for you to submit any of your questions through the Q&A function that you'll find at the bottom of your Zoom screen if you're watching us through Zoom Live. We are also broadcasting this on our Facebook Live account for the Parent Family Services Facebook page. So if you're watching us there, we're also monitoring the system on that side, so if you have any questions and you all you have to do from Facebook is to just put the questions into the comments section and we'll be able to I'll serve as a moderator at the end of the presentation this evening to make sure that we get all of your questions answered. Since this is a live presentation, I want to make sure that I just remind everyone to please be careful when you're putting out any of your questions to ensure that you're not sharing any type of identifying information regarding your student. This could be their name, email address, anything along those lines. We just want to make sure that we are maintaining the safety and security and ultimately the privacy of all of our UAB students. So that's everything from my end. And again, I just want to welcome you. I'm very excited for the tonight, tonight's presentation. And we please let us know what we can do to make sure that you, you are getting the information you need. But I'd like to go ahead and invite Ben on, our UAB Bookstore Manager, to share with you all the resources and opportunities that are available to your students. Good evening, everyone. Give me just one moment to share my screen. And I have a lot of information that I'm excited to share with you this evening. All right, let's get... All right, so here, I uh, just wanted to say welcome. Uh, again, my name is Ben. I'm the general manager here at the UAB Bookstore. Uh, I've been in the college bookstore business for almost 10 years, and I'm excited to be at UAB and to help you guys out with all of your bookstore needs. First thing I just want to let you know is that we are your one-stop shop uh, for everything UAB. We can get all your course materials with us, uh, find any essential supplies that you need, all your school spirit gear, um, student events for uh, your child as they're here, and uh, that we actually give back to both our school and our, and our community. So we're we're your one stop for everything. Uh, here's our bookstore information. Uh, our address is uh, right there. We're right in the Hill Center. We have a two floor store that we have lots of different uh, items for you. Our normal operating hours are 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. during the school year. Uh, we are actually open right now. We are operating under a uh, shortened hours. We're open 9.30 to 3.30 right now. So. Um, we are uh, answering emails and phone calls, so if you need, have any questions over the summer, we're happy to help you out there. Um, we have our website you can see down below as well as a link to uh, get our bookstore app. And our social media information is also just there uh, to the right. Um, getting course materials with us is very, very easy. Um, we get the course material list directly from your professor. So we are in contact with them constantly to make sure we have the right materials for you. Uh, we have the largest selection of materials. We have new, used, rentable, and digital items that you can get for your student, whatever fits your need. You can save up to 90% when you uh, rent with us. Um, we can save you 90% off the retail new price. One big thing that we do is we price match. We price match amazon.com, barnesnoble.com, and any local competitors. Um, our website has more information about that, but uh, pretty much if it's the same condition and the same book, we do our best to price match to get you the lowest price possible. Um, we are very convenient being right there on campus. And, uh, you know, a lot of people ask about our return policy. Uh, for the first week of class, as long as you have your receipt, we're happy to refund you. Uh, we can do exchanges. Um, we're happy to to assist in any way that we can should there be any sort of extenuating circumstance we are able to do exchanges um, past that august 31st date that would that august 31st date is the uh, second monday 
uh, the Monday after classes start. So, and we buy back books at the end of the term. So some books that maybe you can't rent or you have to purchase for some reason, we normally do buy a lot of those books back at the end of the term and give you cash back for them. Uh, just another um, kind of recap of the type of materials that we have, uh, like I said, new used and rental, and you can save up to 90%. And uh, eBooks and, and digital products have been going through the roof here of late, especially uh, uh, over the past spring term. So um, those are a way to get great value for your students as well. Um, if you're coming in the store, the best thing that you or your student can do is to bring their course schedule with them. Uh, our entire um, textbook section is in order by department. So it starts with accounting and goes all the way to, to the end. Um, and so if they have their class schedule, we can find their books for them super quick. Um, an example of what your student or you will see in our bookstore is to the uh, right side of the screen. And again, it makes really easy. Um, you know, the section, the instructor, the rentable prices, the buying prices. And at the bottom, we'll even show you that if, if we'll let you know that, hey, we have it somewhere else in our store as well. So um, we are very excited to uh, share that with you. Um, another easy way is to simply go online. Uh, you can go to our website and select your courses with that course uh, schedule. Select it from the drop down menu on our website. There is also a direct link in your student's BlazorNet. That is how they're going to register for classes. And there is a link right below um, on after they click on registration that says purchase books now. And that will take them to their entire course uh, books that they will need for the upcoming term. Uh, you can also skip the lines by ordering online and just come straight to the online pickup area. So it's a great way to um, uh, stay safe uh, during this time and, uh, and dodge any lines. We have uh, a great tool. It's called Bartleby Learn. What this is, is this is like an online tutor. A lot of folks may have used Check Study before. This is uh, a lot like that, but it's actually a little bit cheaper. Um, you can get your first month free on us. Uh, and this uh, platform actually connects directly to your book. So the examples in there are actually going to line up directly with your textbook and not just be a question that's similar to it. It's going to actually um, walk them through step by step and why they take each step uh, for uh, any homework problems that they may need help with. Uh, I know there's lots of tutoring services at UAB, but if it's 11 o'clock at night and your student needs a little bit of help, this is a great tool that is uh, free to try. Um, along with that Bartleby Learn, we have a Bartleby Write. So for um, English majors or people who write a lot of papers, this is a um, writing version of that Bartleby Learn service. So it'll really help. It'll actually um, give your paper uh, a test kind of score, uh, kind of how it did in comparison to other papers on these topics. Uh, it'll citate uh, or do a citation for you, uh, detect plagiarism, and uh, lots of other um, things for you there. Uh, we're not just a bookstore, though. We have lots of items that your students will need for success. We have laptops, thumb drives, calculators, and cords. You know, if you need a uh, phone charger or headphones to you know, while you're out and about, we can certainly take care of that. We have uh, general medical engineering, science, and other test forms and supplies. Um, lab codes, if you uh, need that for a lab, Scantrons for tests, uh, any other notebooks and things like that that uh, you may need. Uh, and we're also great for grab-and-go snacks and drinks. And uh, we even have uh, some general reading books if your student's an avid reader. Uh, we have just what they need. Um, now on to more of the fun stuff. We have a lot of great gear for you to show that school spirit. Um, and so we have Champion, Under Armour, Vera Bradley, tons of, of great name brands. We even carry school and sports specific gear on our site. Um, hopefully we can send you these links out uh, here soon. Um, and uh, it's just right there on our website though. We, we hope that you guys will look there uh, very soon. Uh, but we're a full support program here at the UAB Bookstore, and, and not only are we going to be, uh, you know, providing your student with the things that they need, but we also have campus events where they can just come and relax and enjoy. Uh, we have holiday parties, uh, de-stress fest, so, you know, when it's a stressful time for midterms and finals, we're going to have some, you know, very calm environments and, and very, um, you know, um, safe things to do as well. And we understand that we're going to have to uh, look at how we do this and this fall term, but we are a full support system for your student. 
uh, one of the best ways to stay in touch with everything that we do is our app. Um, you can see how to get it there. You pretty much go to your favorite app store and search for My College Bookstore. You're going to get exclusive discounts, uh, first thing to go to sales, and you're going to get 20% off of one item just for downloading the app. So it's a great way to stay in touch with us and get um, all of your gear and order your textbooks from there. Uh, if you're not real big on uh, using apps, we have a way that you can just sign up for your with your email on our website, or you can even opt into the right to text message offers. Um, you can text uh, UAB to that number right there to start receiving uh, deals via text message. So all sorts of ways that we're happy to save you money and get you the gear that uh, uh, to show that UAB pride. And that is the last of my slides. Um, so. That is all the information that I have today for you. I'm happy to answer any questions or um, in, you know, whatever else I can help out with today for you. Meredith, I think you're still muted. There we go, trying that again. How about now? <laughs> Sounds great. Perfect. Sorry about that. Uh, ben, thank you so much for all of that. So as family members are obviously starting to try to walk through this process and understand and, and giving college textbooks are such a different process now and, um, or maybe the first time for anyone to experience this. When we're talking about that, there's so many different opportunities or, or needs between the textbook rentals um, buying new or buying used, if they're, especially right now when they may not be have the opportunity to come in store, how is the best way for them to be able to figure out best process and how all that really works um, to make those decisions for themselves as a family? Sure, absolutely. So our website, when you go find and use your schedule to find the book, it's going to give you all the options uh, for each different course material. So it's going to give you the buy new, the buy used, rent new, rent used, digital options. Um, I would say that if your student has been using digital products uh, the past couple years in high school or they're really comfortable with ebooks, that the digital option will be a very, very cost effective and uh, way to go. Um, most students choose to rent with us. You just get the same book for a better price. A lot of times you actually save more money by renting a book than you do by purchasing it and selling it back to us. Um, so most people choose to rent when possible. Um, okay. But anything that you have to buy, they do normally will sell back at the end of the term to us. So walk them, just to, to clarify and everything, for the rentals, it is a temporary, it is what it sounds like, correct? That they have only have the book for a temporary time frame and then they will be able to, to bring it back. Yes. So our rental due date is always the Friday of finals week. So your student will have access to that book all the way up until the last day of finals. Um, we do have a grace period too. So for three business days after that, we actually will still accept rentals, no problem. So if they forget it or they, you know, something happened, you know, we all were happy to take late rentals. We check them in, no problem. Um, if your student has gone home, say they didn't have any finals Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, and they left on Tuesday, we offer a free UPS shipping label to get that book back to us. Um, we had a lot of students take advantage of that when we had to go online at the end of the spring term. And it is as simple as once that book is in the mail uh, or the UPS, we get it and we check it in, even if it's past that due date, even if it's uh, past that three-day grace period, as long as it is on its way, we check it in uh, with no penalty at all once it gets back to us. Great. And then what happens if you don't receive a book back at all from a student? Um, so there are um, fees involved with that. There's a replacement fee and a non-return fee. Um, but even if we have tried to charge those fees or if we have charged those fees, if the book comes back to us, we can uh, actually refund in most scenarios the uh, replacement fee, which is the 90% of what you were charged. Um, the non-return fee is just a fancy way of saying a late fee that, that is um, pretty difficult to, to refund uh, once that has gone through. But we still can you know, refund it once the book comes back to us. We really are just looking to get the book back. Um, but again, that won't, those charges won't try to go through until almost a week after um, the book has been due. And about 92 to 93% of our rentals come back with absolutely no issue at all. Um, one other thing to note is if you have a rental and your student's like, oh, I really need this book moving forward, or I really want to keep this book, you can do what's called a rental purchase where you just pay the difference from what you, so say the book 
retails for $100 and you rented it for 70. You would just owe that $30 plus tax to keep the book as long as we do that before the due date. And by being a rental book that still doesn't preclude them from being able to, to take notes or highlight in the book as they would normally, does it? Absolutely. You can still write and highlight in every book. Matter of fact, other people's notes and highlights are how I got through a lot of my general education courses in college. So you, you absolutely can write and highlight in these books. Uh, we just want them back in good condition. Good condition really just means no cover damage, no water damage, uh, and no pages missing. Oh, perfect. There is a question that's come in from a family member about whether or not the bookstore will hire is a place for on-campus jobs for our incoming students. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely, there is. Uh, we actually have a position open right now for bookseller. We're, we're always looking to, to hire new great people. Um, so you can go to uh, beincollegejobs.com uh, or feel free to just send the bookstore an email. I'm happy to send any parent the link to, to the jobs that we have. Um, but yeah, we're actually looking to, to ramp up our team for a busy fall term that we have coming up. Great. So Ben, I know a lot of family members and students are kind of still, or a lot of students for family members are still sorting through their class schedule for the fall and maybe still making changes to their schedules or anything along those lines. What is your suggestion to family members about their student going ahead and getting their books right now versus should they wait for a little bit longer until their schedule stabilizes out or um, how do you best ensure that they're, they're going to be able to do this, that they can get everything that they need? Absolutely. Um, so we're probably going to start processing fall orders in a couple of weeks, probably end of July, beginning of August. So you could place your order now. Tell us, oh, hey, we changed your schedule. Can we change this up? And we can actually call us and we can update those the course materials for you, no problem at all. Um, and if your order was already processed, doing an exchange is a very simple process that we can take care of for you. Um, if your student has the wrong book, we're not going to make them keep a, a wrong book. That's just not what we're going to do. We're going to take care of them. Uh, whether that is just a refund because the course that they moved to ha does not use a book or doing an exchange for the correct materials. Um, and we can even do that with a course change even after that August 31st date. Um, that refund date kind of goes along, is pretty close to the add drop date, but we can still, uh, like I said, take care of students. You know, if, if they have a special scenario, extenuating circumstances, we can certainly take care of. We're not going to make a student keep the incorrect book. Perfect. Thank you. Just wanted Absolutely. to make sure that was fully understood because there's a lot. And then for the pickup process for if the student has pre-ordered their books on um, by ordering them online or in advance, how does that work once classes start? Yeah. So first, let me go ahead and say that we have a lot of, um, you know, safety protocols in place, um, queue lines with spaces for people to space out. We have sneeze guards on our registers. Hand sanitizer readily available. Uh, every staff member at the UAB book, the bookstore uh, is wearing a mask right now to ensure the safety of anybody who comes in as well as our staff. So we have safety precautions in place. Um, secondly, you are going to receive an email saying that your order is ready for pickup once we have fully processed it. Whether it is the parent who places it or the student, whoever comes to pick it up will need that email. Um, there's going to be a box number and an order number on that email that we need to order to find the number. We have an online order pickup window. Student or parent one will just walk up. Hey, here's my email. You know, you can either tell us your box number, you can show us the email, whatever works. Uh, and we find it and just hand it to you and you're on your way. Perfect. That sounds fairly straightforward and easy. There is a question that came in as well about how price matching actually works. Yeah, so um, if the student has the actual link for the book where they found it at, um, you know, that's the best way to, you know, you can even email me. We can even price match with online orders. You can email the bookstore, hey, I found this book for their class. Here's the link to it on Amazon. And we'll, we'll start researching to see what we can do. Uh, even if you look at just Amazon, I'm going to go ahead and look at barnesnoble.com and any local competitors that we have. Um, that way I can go ahead and let you know, hey, maybe I couldn't price match this one, but I can do this price for you. There's, there's certain things we're looking for. The main things is that um, the barcode on a book is called an ISBN. So we're looking for that ISBN to be the same. So, and it has to be in the same condition. So it's got to be a new book to a new book, a used rental to a used rental. So as long as it's the same book in the same condition, uh, we're happy to research that to see if we can find you a better price. Okay. Um, there's a question coming in about 90, do you get 90% off on rentals, you, new, used new and online books? I'm not quite sure 
Yeah, so we can we can offer up to ninety percent. You know, those prices um, will generate kind of automatically. On average, you do save fifty to sixty percent from a used rental to a uh, a new new bought book. But we have had books that are able to be rented for much cheaper than that. We've been able to price match books to get them down to that ninety percent off. On average, you're saving uh, fifty to sixty percent though from a used rental. But we've been able to do much more than that, uh, depending on the book and the circumstance. So the used rental is is truly where the the biggest of the savings would be in in book costs Absol or book. Absolutely, absolutely. If you want a physical book, renting a used copy is by far the best route to go. Um, the only thing that I've seen a better price than used rentals are um, digital rentals, uh, and pretty much the way digital rentals work is you get it for a certain number of days. Most of our digital rentals are 180 days, so six months, which is uh, more than enough time for for a term. What about, are there anything books or textbooks are out there that aren't potentially available to be purchased as a used th system or some way that there is not a, they cannot return something back to the bookstore? Are there ever those? So, yeah, there are a few scenarios where a book is only going to become new or purchasable. Most of those are going to be custom books that the professor has, you know, created something very custom or has what's called an access code or a digital component that comes with the book. Those digital components or access codes are only able to be used one time. So, you know, a lot of say accounting classes will do online homework and they'll use an access code to do that. And once that access code is used, it cannot be used by another student. It cannot be used by somebody else. So in those scenarios, um, you know, we can't buy back the access code, but we can look at buying back the book still for you. So we do try to find ways that even when there's those packages or custom things that uh, are only new available. And those should also reflect on our website. We try to flag those as new only. So you don't get, you know, if you order a used one, you, you can't order a used one. That way you can only have that new option. Um, but uh, yeah, so those are the scenarios that there's like a digital component with the book or a custom material. Those are sometimes only available new and purchasable. Got it. Perfect. I just saw another question and then I just lost it. So I just want to remind family members, if there are any questions that you have, please feel free to put them in on either our Facebook Live or through the Q&A factor uh, function on the Zoom platform. Uh, ben, if they are after this today's presentation, if they come up with any additional questions or thoughts that they have, what is the best way for them to, them, for our family members or our students to reach out and get those questions answered from the bookstore? Sure. Um, you can always give us a call. Um, our phone number is 205. 934-8206. Um, we have a staff there who has lots of questions and if they're not quite answering your questions, just ask for Ben and I'm happy to jump on that call and help you out. Um, you can also email me. Um, my email address is S as in Sam, M as in Mary, 536 at bncollege.com. Uh, you can also just go to our uh, website there's a contact us page and those uh, emails or those contact us uh, messages will come directly to my email as well. And would you provide um, that email address one more time? SM536 at bncollege.com. I'm going to send that out as a chat message to everybody that is on the Zoom platform so that, that way they have that contact. Cool. It, it's BN for Barnes and Noble. That's the only. Oh, I did. I did mistype there. That was my. That's called not <laughs> being able to read um, or use my fingers correctly. <laughs> uh, so B. There we go. Let's try this one more time, to everybody. Yeah. That would be critical. There we go. Corrected. That's it. That's it. And that email is up, even when I get home some days. So I will check in and get back to you as quickly as possible. Perfect. That is, I think, all of the questions that I've seen coming in from everyone. And so families, please note that this presentation will stay on, it's immediately available on our Facebook, the Parent Family Services Facebook account, as well as we will be placing it on the Parent Family Services website, which is uab.edu slash families. That will be up on the website within the next, with, within the week. Um, for, so there are other family members you want to make sure your students are seeing or hearing this information. It's a great way for you to share the information on. And then please feel free to reach out to either one of our offices on regarding any type of questions or concerns that you have. Obviously, reach out to the bookstore for bookstore-related questions. But beyond that, if there are other things that the Office of Parent and Family Services can do to help be of assistance for you, please don't hesitate to email. We are here to help in any way that we can. So, Ben, I just want to say thank you so much for taking some time this evening and walking us through 
some of the services and programs and all of the opportunities that are available for our students. There are so many different options. It's, it's amazing. Um, so, but sometimes confusing. So I help, thank you for taking the time to kind of walk us through each step. And then I just hope that everybody has a wonderful evening. Thanks everyone. appreciate your time and uh, can't wait to actually meet you in person uh, this fall, hopefully. Same. Have a wonderful evening, everyone, and we will see you soon.